Convincing your parents it's time to right-size their living environment at first may seem like a bit of a challenge. As your parents grow older, you may begin to sense signs that they're struggling with some day-to-day -day things that indicate that their current long-time living environment may not be suitable anymore. Your parents aren't going to see these signs. After all, why would they? This has been their only familiar domain for a long time. Today, we're going to talk about the delicate subject of deciding when it's the right time to consider a move. And also, I'm going to guide you through how you can have a stress-free and happy transition for everyone involved. To be clear, I'm not talking about having that conversation with your parents about going into assisted living or even having the conversation about trying to get them to move in with you. What I'm talking about is helping your parents come to their own conclusions that it's time to simplify their living environment. Living a long and fulfilling life by moving into a community more suited to their active senior lifestyle is a healthy choice. But is the word change a five-letter bad word in your parents' vocabulary? It doesn't have to be. Hi, I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty in beautiful Lakeland, Florida. Let's start with signs that it may be time for your parents to start considering a move. Are you seeing signs that the ongoing maintenance of their home may be getting a little bit too much for them? Maybe the house isn't as clean and picked up as it used to be. Maybe it's been a few years too long in between painting tree trimming, gutter cleaning, or anything else requiring a tall ladder. And you know your dad's not going to pay to have someone come out. Have you noticed if your parents are not as social as they used to be? Maybe they've become a little bit isolated even. Maybe the neighborhood has evolved and they don't have as much in common with the neighbors anymore. Or maybe they suffered a loss and they claim that they just rather stay inside. Just stay in tune and read between the lines. Don't take for granted everything is fine just because they give you the canned answer, yeah, everything's fine. Let's walk through the necessary steps to make this difficult process easier and to ensure a smooth and happy transition. The first three things are super important. That's open communication, respect, and choice. Parents may feel emotionally connected to their home. Expect apprehension when you first bring up moving. They'll need time to ponder and accept the idea. Bring up the cost savings of moving to a smaller home. The benefits of not having to mow the grass in the hot summers, and maybe some health benefits of living perhaps near the water. Try saying things like this. I can't live your life for you, but can you do this? Can you humor me? Let's go together, go look at these few places I've already checked out. I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. Now. If you get the hand in front of the face, then you need to back off a little bit. This is supposed to be a very slow and respectful process. But leave the brochures so they could look at them later on their time. Then schedule a time maybe to take your parents out to lunch and go look at a few places. Do this several times if necessary and let them decide which ones they like and why. Once a community has been chosen, it's on to step two, have a plan. Now, your parents are going to feel a little nervous, anxious, and overwhelmed initially. And they probably won't even know where to begin the move itself. Have a plan to have all immediate family members on board to help with the organizing, the packing, and the sorting. A good time frame for this is about six to eight weeks, depending on how many items are in the house and, of course, family members' schedules. But whatever you do, please don't rush this crucial step. Your parents' belongings are not just furniture and objects. They are their memories and tell the story of the history of their life in the house. Take the time to reminisce with your parents about every piece if necessary and decide which things are going to be given to certain family members, donated, sold, or purged. But gently keep the pace focused. Have a measured floor plan of their new home. Let your parents decide which items are going to be moved to the new house and where they're going to be placed. And for the main living area and their new digs, encourage them to buy new furniture. When's the last time they went furniture shopping? After all, the packing and sorting is well underway. Stay ahead of any anxieties or worries that your parents may have and making sure that the moving day itself is prearranged. And make sure that you are physically there on the day of moving. Your parents need to be reassured that the movers are professionals and will handle all of their things with care. 
Whether the move is across town or cross country, don't let your parents arrive at the new home alone. Family members need to be there when the movers arrive with their things and stay until the basic necessities are in place or for however long you feel you should stay there for the first day in their new home. It may take several weeks for your parents to settle in. Check in with them often and make sure they feel safe and comfortable. Take this adjustment time to make sure that their former home is cleaned and repaired if necessary. Again, reassuring your parents all is taken care of. Every person reacts to moving differently. Some feel relief from not having to take care of their home anymore, but most will feel some loss from the life change. Give your parents plenty of family support during this stage. Who knows, they might end up saying, why didn't we do this a long time ago? If you've gone through this journey with your parents, I'd love to hear about it. Send me a little comment below. Let me know how your parents are thriving in their new digs. And don't forget to check out the links here below in the description. You'll find some helpful information there to get the process started. Oh, and please subscribe and ring the bell. I put out a video every single week and you're not gonna wanna miss a thing. Until then, I'll see you on the next one.